What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Here 2. Today we're going to be doing a review and testing of Milwaukee's Red Helix Titanium Drill Bit. Now these are part of the Shockwave series and they're also impact rated. Let's do this. Alright guys, so we're going to test out the 19 piece set from Milwaukee. Two of the main features that have caught my eye. Number one, impact rated. So these ones here have a hex head on the bottom of the drill bit, which means you can use them in your impact gun. I've honestly never used a drill bit um, in my impact gun like this. I'm old school, a bit more traditional. I always stick them in my drill driver. So it'll be interesting to see just how well this one here works. Number two, no walking. So they say that they've got some new technology where they've cut these at 135 degrees and that prevents the drill bits from walking on the surface. If you're not sure what walking is, um, when you're drilling into a metal surface, usually you have to use a center punch um, to prevent the drill bit from wandering off on the surface. So we'll test it out, see just how well these ones here work. A couple of the other features, stay sharper for longer. We'll find out one way or another. Variable helix, that means that it tapers down. So it goes a little bit more narrow from the flute all the way down, so it's a little bit wider on the base. Uh, number three, chip breaker technology. It's got a little groove on top, which is supposed to take out some of that heat from the drill bit. These are the old drill bits that I'm pretty much the last couple of times I've bought drill bits. I've bought the same kit over and over. I'm really happy with these ones here. Titanium coated once again. Um, these ones here, as you can see, the bottom ones are missing. Um, the smaller sizes, they tend to snap. So it's a common problem. Apparently these ones here are a bit better quality or they've got a bit more of a uh, focus on not snapping the drill bits. So it'll be interesting to see how well these ones here work, especially because they have a more solid base. So we'll test it out over the long run and see how well they work. But very happy with my Dewalt ones. Like I said, two of the main features why I want to test them out. Let's open this packet up and we'll try it out. So these are the two drill bits side by side. The top one is my Dewalt, the bottom one is my new Milwaukee one. You can see there's a little bit of a difference here in the tip. Um, also you can see that little uh, breaker technology, so that groove on top is what's supposed to disperse the heat. Um, but it'll be interesting to see just how well this here works. When we have a look at the base, top one is now the Milwaukee. So you can see there, this one is designed to be able to lock straight into that um, impact gun and the bottom one is nice and flat. So this top one here, we're supposed to be able to use it both in the drill driver and the impact gun, bottom one just in the driver. So I'm just having a quick look at the kit. It's actually a really nice build, very solid. Um, it's fairly large to be honest. It's a lot bigger than my Dewalt kit. You can see there the size difference. What I do like, however, is the ability to put in a few more bits. So this one here is a 19 piece set. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five more pieces that I can actually fit in there. Um, so it's interesting because I can purchase a couple more bits, put them in there. One thing I wish they did have is with this section here, if this could fold out so that I can access those individual bits a bit quicker. But let's put these straight into the drill and test them out. All right guys, so we'll start off with the drill driver. Like I said, I'm a little bit old school. So this is my usual preferred method um, through the drill driver. We're going to start off on some timber. These ones here are also ferrated for both, um, well actually all three, plastic, timber and metal. So it'll be interesting to see how well they handle through the impact driver. Let's test it out. We'll do two holes on the driver, then we'll compare it with the impact. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's exactly what I'm used to expecting from a drill driver. It'll be interested, interesting to see how well it handles through the impact. So let's try it out with the impact driver this time. Uh, it's not bad, it feels a touch slower. I've got it on speed two, maybe that's why. Let's try it on speed three. Oh, that's better. So speed three, definitely better on this one here. That clicking or the ratchet action, you can hear that coming through again once it becomes a little bit more tough. It's actually not too bad. I think I've got a new preferred method, especially because this tip is so short as well, sits nice in the drill. I really like that actually. All right, let's change over. We'll try some plastic and also some metal. So we've got here some plastic trim, which I'm pretty sure is gonna go through no problem. Oh, too easy. Let's try it in the driver and see if there's any difference. Bit too easy, let's get something a bit tougher, we'll try it in the steel. 
All right guys, so this time we've got a piece of aluminium or aluminum, whatever you want to call it. We're using the Dewalt drill bit because I want to test out the difference in the walking. So let's test it out. We'll try out with the um, Dewalt bit. I've never really had problems with the Dewalt bit. That's actually pretty good. No walking there and it's a very nice smooth surface. The only time you probably get the walking is if you don't keep the drill bit straight. So if you wanted to put that on a little bit of an angle, you can see there instant walking so i think you'll find that's probably the case with most of your drill bits once again straight we'll switch we'll switch over now to the new milwaukee and we'll see if there's any difference once again straight No difference with that. This one is a slightly little bigger drill bit. We'll see if we've got the issue with the walking. Straight, we've got no issue in walking. Let's see if we put on an angle. Once again, exactly the same as the Dewalt. We'll try it in the impact gun. So now we've got it on the impact gun. Let's see if there's any difference. Um, honestly, I've got to say, I'm a new fan of the impact gun here. It's a lot better when it's impact rated, even with the drill bit. It feels like it's got a little bit more power. Let's get something a bit thicker than this. So this time around, we've got some 40 by 40 steel post. We'll start off on the driver. We'll keep going all the way through. We'll switch that over on the impact driver. It's definitely a lot quicker to switch bits. Five seconds. <laughs> I'll take that back. One second. Let's try it out on this one here with the impact. A lot quicker. Let's go all the way through. That is nice. It's very, very fast. I really like that ratchet action. I think I've got a new uh, favorite. Definitely I'm going to be using impact rated from now on. So as I said before, with my Dewalt set, I've got a common problem with the smaller drill bits always breaking. What I found is with these drill bits here, I'll show you guys a quick test. If we put this in the drill driver, if I apply that on the surface and then move the drill on a little bit of an angle, you can see how much flex is in that drill bit. That's actually what causes it to break. Something else that I've realized is when I switch over with a similar size bit, in the Milwaukee, the drill bits themselves are a lot more rigid and there's a lot less flex in that drill bit. So hopefully that'll um, extend the life of that drill bit and also prevent the breakage from happening. So with the Dewalt drill bit, if I'm to try and drill a hole and put a little bit of side pressure on there, you'll see how much flex there is as I'm uh, putting that pressure on. And that's what causes the breakage. When I switch it over to the uh, Milwaukee drill bits, in a similar size. That flex and rigidness is a lot more stronger in the Milwaukee one. And it actually drilled the hole while I was putting side wood pressure on there. So something that I've realized is the titanium coating is starting to wear away. You can see there after drilling about 10 to 15 holes, it's already starting to wear away. That's a little bit concerning because with my old Dewalt set, this one here is about four to six months old and the coating is still all intact. So I'm not sure if this is a common problem. Let me know in the comment section below if anybody else has experienced something similar to this. Um, overall, I'm very impressed with the drill bit, especially the fact that I can use it in my impact driver. I was a little bit concerned initially. However, exchanging bits is very, very fast. Um, the impact doesn't affect its ability to drill through any kind of material. In fact, it, I find it actually works better than it does in my drill driver. So I'm very happy with the way this handles in my impact driver. I'll definitely be using this in the future. With regards to walking, you guys seen both with the Dewalt and the Milwaukee, as long as you have a nice consistent pressure um, over the surface that you're drilling in, you don't have that walking issue. When you do put the drill on a bit of an angle, both of them still walk away. Something else that I noticed as well, with the drill bits here, the packaging, you can actually lift up those drill bits to get better access. Um, initially, I had a little bit of plastic still lodged in here from the packaging, and that was preventing it from moving around. So all in all, 
pretty impressed with these, especially with regards to the impact rating, which I was initially concerned about. And that was kind of the main feature that I was after to be able to use this in my impact driver. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching. Bill's out too.